During the muscle stretching portion of the workout, it's important that you hold the stretching for 15 to 30 seconds. This will allow the muscle to relax and stretch better. You want to remember to stretch in a pain-free range of motion. You should feel a gentle pull on the muscles. It should not be painful. Okay, so we're going to be stretching out our muscles now that we've worked them. Really important to stretch them out for flexibility and good posture. On the mat, I'm going to ask you to pull your knees into your chest. And in the chair, I want you to pull one knee toward your chest. And to feel the stretch in the small of your back, you may need to pull your chest a little closer to your knee. So you want to hold that stretch for at least 15 seconds. Take a nice, slow, big breath in and blow it out. In the chair, switch to the other knee, and on the floor, if you'd like, you can rock from side to side, massaging the small of your back into the mat. Big breath in, and blow it out. And release. Okay, on the floor, straighten your arms over your head and straighten your legs out on the mat. If it hurts the small of your back to have your both legs straight, bend one knee up. In the chair, I want you to reach up to the ceiling and I want everybody to feel a nice stretch down the center of the abdominal muscles. Don't hold your breath. If you have a knee bent, switch and bend your other knee up and straighten the other leg. Take a big breath in and blow it out. And release. In the chair, hold your hands behind the chair and pull your shoulder blades back. Feel a stretch in your chest. On the floor, bring both arms out, shoulder height. The back of your arms are on the floor and your palms are to the ceiling. Let those arms fall to the floor. Take a big breath in and blow it out. In the chair, release your arms and come and sit forward in the chair. With your feet and knees both wide, press out on your knees. On the floor, bend both knees up, keep your feet on the floor. Soles of your feet together, let your knees fall apart and stretch the muscles of the inner thighs. You can release the arms if you want or if you want a little bit of an extra chest stretch, you can do that. Holding for 15 seconds. Take a big breath in and blow it out. Knees together. On the floor, raise your right leg to the ceiling and hold your leg. In the chair, sit on the front of the chair and bring your right heel toward the floor. Pull your toe toward your nose. Keep your back straight and bring your chest to the wall in front of you. Keep your back nice and straight. So everybody wants to feel a stretch up the back of the right leg. Take a big breath in and blow it out. Place your right foot back on the floor. Lift your left leg to the ceiling and hang on to the leg in the chair. Bring your left heel to the floor and straighten out. Again, keep your back straight. Lean out over the straight leg on the floor, heel to the ceiling. So we're stretching the hamstring muscles Take a big breath in and blow it out. Place your left foot back on the floor. Take your right ankle and place it on your left knee. 
in the chair, let the knee fall out a little bit. On the floor, you can press the right knee out a little bit, stretching your right hip. Big breath in, and blow it out. Place your right foot on the floor and switch. Place your left ankle onto your right knee. And again, gently press the left knee out. Holding the stretch, take a nice big breath in. And blow it out. Release. Roll over onto your stomach. If you're in the chair, turn and sit sideways in the chair. Drop your knee toward the floor and hang on to the back of the chair. Do you want to bring your leg over top of the chair? That's good. Now on the floor, you're going to bend one knee up. Keep your knees together and pelvis pressed into the mat. If you're really flexible and want to hang on to the back of your soccer shoe or pant leg, you can do that. In the chair, you're sitting nice and tall and you want to try and have your knee pointed toward the floor. You want to feel a stretch in the front of that thigh. So if you're not feeling a stretch, you can lean back a little bit to get more stretch in the front of the thigh. Take a big breath in and blow it out. Release and switch to the other side. <coughs> so again, knees together. Pelvis pressed into the mat. In the chair, lean back a little bit if you want to get more stretch in the quadricep muscles. Big breath in. And blow it out. Release and come up onto your hands and knees. If you're sitting in the chair, I'd like you to stand behind your chair. Okay, so on the floor, extend one leg back and put the ball of your foot on the floor. If you're behind the chair, step back with one leg. Be sure your heel is to the back of the room and lean forward. I want everybody to feel a stretch in your calves. And if it bothers your knees or your wrists to be on your hands and knees, you can sit on the mat, keep your knees soft and pull your toes towards your nose to get a calf stretch as well. Your head should be a little higher than your chest if you're on your hands and knees. Big breath in and blow it out. Switch to the other side. Holding that stretch, take a big breath in and blow it out. Release and stand yourself up. Take your time if you need to. Okay, so we're gonna finish up by stretching our shoulders and our upper body. I want you to have both arms down beside you. Look straight ahead, tip your right ear just slightly towards your right shoulder and then press your left shoulder a little bit further down. So you wanna feel a stretch along the side of the neck and across the top of the shoulder. Take a big breath in and blow it out. Bring your head back to center, tip your head to the left and then again, now press your right shoulder down Take a big breath in and blow it out. Release, lace your fingers lightly together and press your arms out to the front. I want you to separate your shoulder blades. Feel a nice stretch here in your upper back. Take 
Take a big breath in and blow it out. And release. Hold your hands together lightly behind you. Keep your hands away from your back. Pull your shoulder blades together in the back. One final stretch for the chest. Big breath in. And blow it out. Release the arms. With your back straight and your head higher than your chest, we're gonna take a big breath in for some new energy in. Blow the tiredness away. And one more, new energy in. And blow the tiredness away. And we're done. Good job, everybody. Excellent work.